This is the Novation Launch Key 88. It's a full-size 88 key version of one of the best Ableton Live controllers out there. And this keyboard also controls Logic, Cubase, and other DAWs with HUI integration. And best of all, it's only $400. Today, I'm gonna to give you a tour of the features, the pros and the cons, and I'll let you know if I think it's a good choice for you. I'll also compare it to other 88 key controllers in this price range to help you make the best decision. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I review keyboards, audio interfaces, plugins, and I have tutorials to help you produce music at home. Okay, most people looking for an 88 key keyboard want decent key feel because, well, many of you are pianists or are learning to play. The key bed on the LaunchKey 88 feels pretty good. It's light to the touch. It's velocity sensitive, of course, and you can adjust the velocity curve too. This is a semi-weighted key bed. It's not hammer action like on the Native Instruments S88 or Arturia Keylab 88. Hammer action comes at a higher price always. If you're a pianist, you'll prefer hammer action keys. They just feel closer to a real piano. But the Launch Key 88 feels pretty good, and I probably get used to this feel after using it for a while. I'm not a big fan of Novation keys on their mini keyboards, but as you level up to bigger keys on Novation keyboards, they are up to par with the competition. So the closest competitors to the Launch Key 88 are actually the Artoria Keylab Essential and the Nectar Impact LX88 Plus. They're around the same price, also have semi-weighted keys, but get this, the launch key gives you quite a few more features compared to the other two. I'll get to those features in this video. Now let's talk about the build quality. But before we do, real quick about the pads, you've got 16 velocity sensitive pads, smaller than some of the competition out there, but I've always liked Novation pads. There's a little more travel than on Akai pads, and they are really bright in their default setting, but you might like that. So the build quality is as you'd expect. This keyboard is lightweight and pretty portable, actually. This is a workhorse keyboard, not a showpiece like a digital piano. And keep that in mind, this is a MIDI controller only, so it's meant to be used with a computer and a DAW, like Ableton Live, Logic, or Cubase. It does not have any built-in sounds or speakers. So the Launch Key 88 feels well-made and sturdy. The knobs and the faders feel tight with good resistance. The buttons are soft, no clicky noise, and I actually prefer these softer buttons. The knobs, buttons, and faders feel mini. Everything on this keyboard feels mini, including the drum pads. All a bit smaller than the competition, but it never really bothered me. The workflow feels just fine with these smaller buttons, knobs, and faders. The positioning of the controls are great. Transport controls are right here near the keys. I do wish the knobs were a bit closer to the keys because if you put this in a desk drawer, you don't have to pull the keyboard out all the way to reach them. On the back, you've got USB, a sustain pedal port, and a MIDI port, which is really nice. This keyboard is bus powered, so no need for external power. Since this is a MIDI controller, how well does it work with a computer and DAW? I tested this keyboard with Ableton Live and Logic Pro, and the core controls worked well. Novation has a top-notch reputation for controlling Ableton Live, and this keyboard doesn't disappoint. Everything is covered, including mixer control, device controls, launching clips and scenes, arming tracks, and of course, the transport controls for play, stop, record, metronome, undo, and more. You've even got some pretty advanced arpeggiator and chord features, which really set this keyboard apart. I'll get to those later in the video. In Logic, I was able to use the transport controls, mixer, 
all worked fine out of the box. This keyboard is also compatible with Cubase and other DAWs, which I haven't tested myself, but should give you all the basic control you need, including transport controls, faders to control track volumes, etc. Now, where this keyboard falls short is integrated virtual instrument control. Arturia's Keylab Essential gives you excellent control of Arturia's software instruments and even lets you cycle through presets. You'll even find similar functions on Native Instruments keyboards. I do like integrated virtual instrument control. Now, don't get me wrong, you have excellent device control for Ableton devices, and you can map controls for other plugins as well, but that takes some extra setup. By the way, if you're looking for a 49 or 60 key keyboard, I've reviewed the best premium keyboard controllers out right now, and you can watch that video here. Now, you've got knobs and faders to control a lot of the features I've mentioned. The knobs are not endless, and most people prefer endless knobs because the keyboard keeps track of where the corresponding knob or fader is in your DAW. But it's really nice to have faders, and don't underestimate them because you can actually control two or three track volumes at once with one hand. You can't do that with knobs. Now, the screen on the LaunchKey 88 is really small and kind of unnecessary for most daily MIDI controller tasks. Honestly, you'll be looking at your computer screen a lot more than this screen. But it does give you some useful feedback when you use the built-in arpeggiator and chord features. I'll get to those in a sec. But before I do, if you're writing songs and producing music at home, you should share them with the world. It's super easy to get your music out there using DistroKid, the sponsor of today's video. DistroKid lets you upload your music to Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Pandora, Amazon, pretty much everywhere. Best of all, they make it really easy. Just upload your track and some artwork, and they do the rest. DistroKid also collects earnings when your listeners play or purchase your music. And they help you market your music. A hyperfollow page lets you share your latest music with your friends on Facebook or anywhere you can share the link. And they can easily follow you to get notified of your upcoming releases. I've actually created two dedicated videos on DistroKid to give you all the details about how it works, how you upload, and how you get paid, and the features you don't want to miss. You can watch those videos here. And if you're ready to sign up, I'll include a link in the video description that'll give you 7% off your first year of DistroKid membership. Back to the launch key. Novation launch key keyboards were one of the first out there with extensive arpeggiator features. They introduced them on the launch key mini and have really executed arpeggiator features well. You've got the usual controls of rate, octave, and you've also got mutation, swing, and deviate. It's great to experiment with this. And it's pretty useful on this 88 keyboard with the included MIDI out. So you can use this feature with hardware synths as well. This is a great feature to have, and it's missing on Arturia's Keylab Essential and the Nectar Impact LX88. In fact, both those other keyboards also don't include the inbuilt chord features that this keyboard has. These are great features to have, but I think the stronger selling point is gonna be DAW compatibility. If you use Ableton Live, Logic, or Cubase, I think the Launch Key 88 keyboard gives you some of the best, most comprehensive control of those DAWs. If you use another DAW, you'll be covered with the standard DAW controls and the nice ARP and chord features as well. And don't forget, the excellent price. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below if you have any questions about the Launch Key 88. So what else do you get with this keyboard? Well, software. Novation includes Ableton Live Lite, XLN Audio's Addictive Keys, the AAS Session Bundle, Spitfire's Expressive Strings, and DAW Cassette and a Reaper plugin by Clubgrand. Pretty good stuff to get started making music at home. So you heard me compare the Launch Key 88 with the Keylab Essential by Artoria and the Nectar Impact LX88 Plus. Now, I haven't mentioned Native Instruments keyboards. Now, they make the S88, which is a hammer action keyboard that costs a lot more for those hammer action keys and some color screens. That is my everyday keyboard. But Native Instruments doesn't offer 88 keys at the same price as the Novation Launch Key 88. Overall, Novation has given us a great keyboard 
for it at a great price, and this is a sure winner in the Ableton Live Controller category. If you have any questions about the LaunchKey 88, leave them in the comments below. Keep making the music you love, and if you want to check out my reviews on other keyboards, check them out right here. I'll see you in the next video.